For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Alba. No one wins when the family feuds, and that appears to be the latest taking place involving legendary actor John Amos's two children, Casey and Shannon Amos. Yesterday, reports began to circulate that Amos was rushed to the hospital and was placed in the ICU after his daughter would take to Instagram to share an update with her followers. In a video posted on Thursday, Shannon would express that her 83-year-old father was experiencing elderly abuse and financial exploitation. The video would also request a call to action to support a GoFundMe campaign to help with Mr. Amos's current living condition, medical care, and attorney fees to pursue legal action against caregivers. I don't know how many of you saw my Facebook post yesterday, but I'm sure there's a lot of questions. Um, for those of you who didn't, I'm about to share. Um, I'm currently in Memphis, Tennessee. My dad is in the hospital here in Memphis. He was traveling on business, um, from what I understand, and he called me and he called for help. And then um, <clears throat> we had a family member fly down to check on him because I was out of the country and I got here as fast as I could. And um, in the last couple of weeks, as things have unfolded, uh, we've learned that my father has been the victim of elder abuse and um, financial exploitation. And pretty much <clears throat> everything that was worth anything that was in his home is gone. Um, it was really, really horrible. We we're working with the Colorado Bureau of Investigations, the local county sheriff in Colorado where my dad lived. Um, and it has been a really difficult time. I did a very emotional post yesterday on Facebook. Um, I feel a little stronger today. He was up and talking today, which, you know, touched my heart and gave me some hope. I'm still very upset and angry to know that there are people in the world that would do something like this to a senior citizen, to an older person. Uh, especially if you know my dad, you know he'd give you the shirt off his back. He is one of the most generous people that I know, and he's always provided for his family, and this is devastating. Um, we have a long road ahead of us. Um, he no longer has home, in, home security, so we're going to have to find a safe place for him to live um, when he gets out of the hospital, and we're hopeful that he will. Uh, he's been in ICU. And um, I'm asking for your prayers, your love, your thoughts. Uh, it took me a lot to get out of my ego and out of my own way. And probably against my dad's best wishes because he's a very private person. Um, but my family and I have pulled our resources and we still need help. We need help. Um, my dad is a very private person. He probably would not love that I have launched a GoFundMe campaign. We have so much that we have to deal with. We have to hire lawyers uh, to pursue the suspects there. I can't, I'm not at liberty yet because the Colorado Bureau of Investigations is involved as well as the local sheriff's department. So I can't share it too many details about who the perpetrators are. Um, I can only say they were caregivers or a caregiver. And um, that's about all I can say about that right now. Um, my dad is going to need extensive medical, medical care and rehabilitation. We're going to have to relocate him into a safe space with long-term care. And um, we don't know how horrible yet um, the financial crimes were, but um, we know it's a lot. You know, they look at these things like they're family crimes. So what our lawyers will be doing is actually putting the together the case and bringing it to the police because, you know, um, from what I'm learning, this has been going on for quite some time. And unfortunately I was traveling and I had no idea that what I was going to see and what happened to my dad's home and all of those things would be uh, part of our reality. Um, I am heartbroken. I just want him to be safe and to be with the people who love him and who care about him. Um, because clearly these people had other interests and it wasn't my dad. Um, he's 83 years old and I think, like I said this on Facebook yesterday, the thing that hurts me the most is that anyone, anyone could have asked him for anything and he would give you the shirt off his back. And the fact that they stole from him and that they stole things from his home and 
you know, left him in those kind of conditions and dropped him off at a hospital, like completely outrageous, completely egregious. Now, following her video, according to TMZ, John Amos and his reps would deny the allegations made by Shannon and would clarify Mr. Amos's medical concern was due to fluid buildup. We spoke with John Amos, who tells us the details laid out by his daughter, Shannon Amos, are a lie. No one is abusing him and he hasn't been fighting for his life. He says he's got no idea as to why Shannon may have started the GoFundMe. As for the hospitalization, John's reps, Belinda Foster, tells us he's been in the hospital because his lower body was filling with fluid all the way to his abdomen and causing issues with his heart. Foster says doctors have been able to drain all of it and John's recently started to feel 100%. Now, late Thursday night, Amos's son, Casey, who many have seen with John in recent years in a series of viral videos, will post a response to his sister's GoFundMe launch. The GoFundMe was not authorized by John Amos, followed by the caption, period. This would prompt several of his followers to chime in. Sir, are you telling us that we cannot trust what your sister Shannon posts about your dad's well-being? Well, the sister already confirmed the GoFund page was not authorized against his wishes because he's private. Let's focus on the facts. Your sister is reaching out for help and not maliciously. Casey would respond to several of the comments asking if his father was okay. He would tell one user he is perfectly fine. Now back on Shannon's Instagram, she would follow up on her video posts with her original concerns. November, my dad and I created a cherished video together. Little did we know the challenges that lay ahead. On May 14th, I received a distressing call from my dad sharing that he was hospitalized in Memphis, Tennessee in immense pain. Despite being out of the country, I arranged to reach him. ICU revealed his life hanging by a thread. The past two weeks shattered our world. My dad, a victim of elder abuse and financial exploitation. We are collaborating with the Colorado Bureau of Investigations and local authorities determined to bring the perpetrators to justice. Legal assistance is crucial to ensure their prosecution and protect my father's future. His home stripped bare necessitates a safe space for his return. This cruel reality bewilders us, but we hold on to hope. Every donation will be directed to a trust for my dad's care legal fees and aftercare. Help us win this battle, send love, and kindle hope for the day we dance together again. Your support means the world as we navigate this darkness, united in the belief that justice and healing will prevail. If you would like to provide care and support for my dad, all donations are going to a trust fund that has been set up for him. She would end things with a post on her Instagram story, I will only stand in truth. Just before this latest reveal, Shannon would open up about the need of separating from toxic family members. And while she didn't name anyone specifically, from the look of things, it can appear that she was subliminally revealing being at odds with her brother. For many, this comes as a surprise because just this April, it appeared that both siblings were sharing good times with their dad on social media. We have yet to see John Amos himself publicly address the matter. Stay up to date for the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and follow Common Hype across all social media. And look out for original content right now on our streaming service at HypePlusTV.com. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Oppa. I just call to say.